Yeah. Hello, we are back for problem two. This is the function primes list that takes in any integer and it's going to compose a list of the prime numbers like underneath this integer. So like, let's say we're putting in 10. It should be two, three, five, seven. Yeah, I think that's everything it should be. So yeah, let's just start. So first we're gonna need to make the list we're gonna return. So let's do prime L equals, um, it's gonna be empty. And now we're gonna make a Boolean variable called prime. Let's set it to false until proven otherwise. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do here is if n is greater than one, then we're gonna do a few things here, but so I'm going to write a loop that's going to determine everything else after this, but we're going to first append to because it doesn't really work for um, two specifically. It's kind of like the auto nat, I guess you could say. So, I mean, this would be true for even if you input it to two, it should probably still append two to the list. <laughs> so, it should be fine. Anyway, now let's get into the actual logic. So we're going to do for i in range from 2 to integer n. All right. So what this is doing is checking from 2 to integer n to start checking each of the numbers in between if it's a prime number. <clears throat> but we also need to check if all those numbers in between is divisible by the other numbers underneath it to make sure to see if it's a prime number, of course. So this makes us have a double loop. So we're going to need to have for j in range of 2 to i. Now, if you think about it, this makes sense because let's say, well, yeah, okay, let's say that we're checking 3. It's going to be in range 2 to 3, and it's going to be 2 to, well, 3 is a bad example, really. Let's do 5. So for i in range of 2 to 5, and for j in range of 2 to i, so it's going to first check um, 3, I believe, I believe this is 0 based. So it should be checking 3, um, because that's the part why I did this right here. <clears throat> because um, it doesn't really check two for my loop. But anyway, um, if it's two, whenever it checks three, it'll go here and then it'll do for this and then it'll check underneath. You know what? It actually makes more sense if I just write the rest of it. So while we're in this loop, <laughs> sorry if that was so confusing how I said that. Um, we're gonna do i remainder. Where is um <coughs> j does not equal zero. This is the line that really checks if it's a prime number. This is the important, most important line. And Okay, so it'll make more sense now that we will go through this. So what this is saying, it's going to check all the numbers in between here, and then it's going to divide i by j, all the numbers in between, while it's doing all the numbers in between 2 and the number we input. So, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. I mean, if it, if it like, let's say it's on the 4th, it's checking four and it is 
here is going to have 4 divided by 2. It's going to see that 4 divided by 2 has a remainder of 0. So it's going to go to false, and then it's going to break, and then it's going to go to 5 up here. And then it's going to go to um, 5 divided by 2, divided by 3, divided by 4, and it's going to all have no remainder. So that's why prime 5 will be a prime number. So now what we need to do, since we have this loop here, we need to have a way to add it. So if prime equals true, we're going to write prime list depends five. And this positioning is important because <clears throat> if you'll notice, it's in the indentation of this um, second part of the for loop. I guess you can call it the inner for loop, and this is the outer for loop. Um, so let's say after it gets the data for this, it's going to then move on to going back to the outer loop. But before it moves on, it's going to ask it if the prime is true from this inner part, because this is more of outer back here, then it's going to append it. So that's why it needs to be in this box because I originally had put it here. and It just, it was terrible. <laughs> it just repeated, the list repeated the same values as it um, was uh, in the list. Like whenever it checked five, it checked five probably like three times and it had added five like three times. So that's something to avoid. So anyway, there's so much space. We're now gonna report, return the prime list and yeah that's really it so got this going let's just go ahead and do 100. all right wow amazing so just to clarify here this is all the prime numbers underneath 100 and here's all the prime numbers from 1 to 100 so this is great and if you want it side by side, we could do that. So yeah, I mean, you can see the two up there, but um, and the three, but yeah, this is all of what we got. So this is perfect. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in and watching this video. And I hope you have a great day.